Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, it's me from Rebel Extreme here. I can see here we have been a bit busy. What we're going to do now is clue some clips of what we've done. And yeah, basically we made great use of the great demand for the... Oh, what was it? Container Warehouse done about three... Two or three trips to it with like... Two, one was like two six meter logs. Another one was a 12 and 6 meter logs containers worth and... I may have done it first, I can't recall since it's been like a day or two since I've done that. But yeah, so I'll include those clips out and we will resume with the rest of the episode here. Remember to include clips, you will see some clips, if not, don't worry about it, but yeah. We yeah, did a couple of trips and yeah, got to the point of 1.9 mil. I did try to sell some logs as part of the tree transport contracts, I thought. Let's see how much we can get for that, and is it worth it? Ah, uh, turns out no ink. Can well, I shouldn't even get any income from it, but let look from that. There was a forty grand penalty in the contract itself, with netted us eleven grand. So technically, we did complete the contract, got eleven grand, but then lost forty grand. But thankfully, well, the game all was saved before then. I'm actually, speaking of which. Deadwood tree and a tree transport contract. We'll do those as and when when we get time. But yeah, so be busy this morning and into the afternoon. And look at that. 37 minutes till the boat sells. Yep. Finally, two months delayed from where we was hoping to get some for the first customer. So yep. Yeah. At two o'clock on the dot, this will set sail. Go down the ramp, and I'm not sure. I'm not sure if someone's going to pick it up or pick it up, or I f think it's got a GPS navigation, like you know, like those Google, Tesla, or drive cars that you see nowadays. I think this has got a sim system on it, so that'll go down, get sent off to whoever's buying. We will get a nice hefty sum for that. But yeah, before we go do that, let's do a bit of farming. And I say farming, mainly just mowing our grass field for the cows. And yeah, we don't need as much grass as we collected because we filled the sheep's pen today. Yeah, cheap. Yeah, not sheep's. Sheep's. The sheep's are filled with food. And I think. I've got any more. I shall reach so down there. Do you have anything in silos? Nope. I think the rest of it is still in the trailer. But yeah, like, uh, what was it that we had? Uh, 29,000 years got left, 25, 29,000 years. Yeah, taking the long way route back to <laughs> where I need to go, but. Yeah, sort of in between episodes, thinking about it, thinking about what we do, what to expand, and we will do some apple farming at some point. I was checking the train, make sure it wasn't glitched out. But yeah, it is loaded in today, just now, so train will reset itself. Yeah, for yeah, some reason, hopefully there's going to be a little update. Hopefully it doesn't require a new game save game save. But basically like when you sell stuff to train if you've seen a couple of times on the, the main map and I may have mentioned it once or twice. But yeah it just seems like the train sort of gets not start but it sort of stops. Yeah for some reason by the one of the stations either often it's down here by Phil Free Plot 26 at the train stop there or sometimes it'll stop at north by the container warehouse. But yeah, so got 1.9 mil. We or had 1.9 mil. We spent 100 grand getting the class Scorpion 1033. Got a 2 was it, or 2.5 ton weight. 2.5 ton weight. And for that, we got a bucket and a big bag hander. The bucket is what we're going to use to pick up all the stones. You're nearly full. Yeah, 24,000 litres. And that was from the 100,000 we had before. 
or nine and nine thousand is when we move this initially. But yeah, as I say, say yeah, Scorpion. It's going to be a nice little addition for us. So we don't have to ride on a wheel loader. Because we will get a second tractor at some point. Got my eye on the John Deere 4755. And I'm going to get the version that's from like a Skunk's Work team where I get the engine, the little 4755 engine. Tweak it to the point where it's going from like 200 horsepower to something super like near 900 horsepower to like 46 miles an hour compared to something like ridiculous like 19 miles an hour the main reason for that is yeah don't need something stupid to kill ourselves with so yeah we go and get this hooked up and to be honest actually one thing about with the grass here we can actually use this grass to get our first bit of silage, I think. Yeah. Let's see how much we can get, first of all, because to be honest, I can't recall how much grass we did cut off when we created our sheep yards. And that's what, what sets me to another decision of. Because initially, like, we need a proper farmyard. Um, oh, very much admit to that. We did preliminary work up here. Hang on with all the stumps, yeah. But yeah, this is a nice little yard now, but yeah, it's just got it's got nothing in it. I think we'll still keep this for now. We'll use it to store some of our equipment and I do need to improve all my storage at the end of every episode, or at least at the end of every day. But yeah, like this gravel track or gravel patch here we put it in. So the thing about putting like a yard in here. I think what we'll do here, this area will be for like greenhouses or something. So I have something up here. We will smooth this out and it should like level the edge, like get rid of some, level it off, raise this ground a bit. So pretty much where the gravel is now, everything is leveled to this point here. So when you put greenhouses down or whatever, it's going to be nice and smooth. Why not we'll include a little track down here? Honestly, I don't see the point of it because plan is keep this path here down. The trees I'm thinking about cutting, keeping from here across, I'll keep those. But I'll cut these trees down, all these here. And I'll expand this possibly yeah it just looks weird with like these big patches like like how the trees are like if we ignore these trees here and we just go like that right it's nice yes a bit janky there yeah because like, you do like two rows of trees here which I I do regret doing that if it's like the one row that's fine it sort of keeps things closed off so I'm thinking about yeah, again, I'm thinking about productions. We're getting into farming at some point. How I'm going to do this, I'm not too sure. I honestly like to think about getting fields one and two, purchase that plot of land, and just create one massive field out of it. Ooh, ouch. Mind my head. Swath drop in. There we go. So, yeah, we're able to move the grass again. I'm not sure the exact yield is we're going to get because, of course, we didn't put the second set of fertilizer on. But, yeah, I'm thinking about where that sheep yard is at the moment. Get that little forestry area, flatten it down. And we yeah, have simply make our main yard out of that. A little, little yard up north. Let's move you out of the way. Yeah, it's like all this I need to do, this little straggly bit. Need to deal with these sharpish. So motors there, so just get move out of the way. 
And like these little striking bits was very good for other productions. Like I want to get all the other productions like the pet accessory store and all that. Yeah, so I just want to try everything on this map. Like that's like purpose of like, this series is just throughout the entire series do a bit of everything. Obviously not do everything in one go because obviously the series is going to end very quickly from there. I shall get rid of that. Close. But yeah, so many things I want to do in this series. I want to keep it interesting. Like, every episode, how I go about it is obviously YouTube and all that. It's like find the one thing that's going to be interesting, you know, all good for views and that. And yeah, that's just how I work. Obviously, I still play the game as it is. Like, like I, that's why I spend like time in between episodes just doing stuff, just get things done. Perhaps work. May should show it on camera. That's why I do try to include clips of what I do, or at least the main bits, like like selling the containers, because obviously, but poof, money's in now. We're at two million, and not explain why or show why. So things like that, you know, just include little clips in every episode. Yep, yeah, like I said, try to pick one particular topic, one area, like the one main focal point, but also do little jobs in between episodes, like, that's just how I'm doing it about it, because I do like trying to get this series, because this is episode 11 now, yeah, episode 9 came out earlier on today, before I went to work, yeah, because this year I forgot to post, I thought I said to post it initially for half 3, that's so what I'm trying to go from up those times around half 3, 3, yeah, 3, 3 p.m. UK time, but for whatever reason, did set it when I did the second upload after having, yeah, upload issues on Friday, so nine out Friday, and then what would have been episode ten would have been out on Sunday, or at least to the, well, today technically Monday. I should well, technically it's Tuesday because I'm recording this at what? Yeah, half past two in the morning. Yeah, got back from work, had a shower, had a coffee. Yeah, because working this weather, like, at the moment here in the southwest of England, temperature is like ridiculous, like zero degrees, minus one, dipping in and out into sub zeros, but mostly at zero, hover around that point or go below it. And as a pizza delivery rider on the motorbike bike on special on a Suzuki Bandit 1250. Yeah, not your typical delivery bike, and even with thick, like thickish winter gloves, you still, you still feel the cold. Things like, yeah, when I'm riding, wear two jackets, wear a, a hooded top, and then I'll wear like a Kevlar, sort of like a Kevlar summerish jacket. Not as thick, but yeah, you feel the cold. But I'm not too fussed about that particular part. So I don't mind the cold weather, but when, like, you know, you get home, especially me, like, it's like a half an hour commute to and from work, going on the motorway now, on the M5. Yeah, going on the M5. Yeah, but until you get home, it's like, hands are absolute. Winter, yeah, the winter gloves, not an issue. A bit cold, but not freezing, like, feel like you're stabbing your hand into a bowl of glass and just constantly stabbing. Just obviously, you know, where it's gone so cold and that. Oh, yeah. Not a nice experience. Trousers wise, oh, yeah, I just wear Kevlar trousers. Just because I'm sort of, yeah, one of those. If I'm going a far distance, like, say, Going from Southwest, we'll do okay. Charity ride to John O'Groats, I'd use a couple of times a year for Land's End to John O'Groats, or if I'm running to London or up to the Midlands. And yeah, I'll wear proper bike trousers, proper bike gear. But if it's a local around my city slash county, then yeah, I don't really bother. That's just me. I'm going to take the risk, and though perhaps there'll be other bikers watching this and perhaps have a different view on it. But yeah, it's just one of those things. I just look at as long as you wear sort of decent boots, decent proper gloves, and a helmet, of course, obviously here in the UK. 
him it's part of the old carbon and even if it wasn't if I'm working I always wear a helmet if I'm pers if it's like personal going out on my bike club and that yeah may not have a helmet on as much but yeah that's just one of the things basic things like basic protective equipment just to protect the key areas and yeah, when like especially in summer we see the third degree well so say third degree heat wave even though most of these centers at rules record like the third is forty degrees. Was at airport tarmac with typhoon jets issue taking off all day, but uh how we record temperatures that's for a different discussion for a different day. But yeah, it was still blistering hot at the very least. Well you see people riding around in t shirts trainers and shorts. The old saying goes, you dress for the slide, not for the ride. And that, yeah, that's very true, that's how I go about it. Get the trousers, better than jeans, not as good a proper like, textile leather trousers, but it's enough to protect me if I'm coming off and have a little slide with completely shred to pieces, but yeah, when you see people go around in shorts and t-shirt and trainers or wear sandals, flip-flops or crocs, bloody hell. It just brings that anger at you and you just like, give them a little nudge, you know, like, get them to learn this in the hard way. That's how I learned. Came off back in when I was 16, got my first moped, went to the gym, went home, hit a bit of ice, no, sorry, a bit of diesel, crashed, flipped the bike, and nearly of course skin graft on my neck. But yeah, that was my fault because I was, running, I was having shorts on. Lesson learned, young stupid, you know, but it is what it is. Everyone won't judge people from that. Just you accept the risk, you set the consequences, that's how I look at it. But yeah, enough of me rambling here. I will finish this off and then we'll start wind rowing it, picking it up. And uh, we'll go for an hour, see whether or not we. Yeah, I think we'll put us into the side clamp. Because the 24,000 years we got left over, that'll still be enough. Yeah, we're like plus 60, that's 84,000 years. That's going to be good for us until the summer, so it's going to take two months for grass to grow again. Be ready in July. And yeah, we'll have enough grass by then. Worst case scenario, we'll buy a bell or two. That's if we need it. I know we don't, but that's the worst case scenario, but yep. So as we do our last pass here, I'm just going to do a quick time out so the all's done. And then I'll see you folks in a few moments.
Yep, seems to be working. Okay, I do have anything leaking out. Nothing else, one thing they always worry about with these like, bunker side clamp mods is like, are they going to leak out? Certainly, 19 that was a massive issue, 19 that was just. But even in like, when we did our Obeloon series, that was. Ugh. <laughs> well, yeah, that's, that's what we get sometimes, you just never know. Things conflict and that, and yeah, I don't complain. I never complain about the mods we get. Always much appreciate the amount of work people do. Actually, what's we right here? Yeah. So yeah, it seems to be working well. Forty-four percent compaction. So actually what we're going to do is, if we, technically if we say R1, close that, so it's a leveler but it won't, ah right so, but yeah I'm not sure if it's leveling out just because it's a shovel, because you can always do leveling to some degree with a bucket like in the past so, I'm not sure how much this is having an effect. This is why, like, obviously, it seems like ages since I've ever did any bit of slide work. That's why I always went down the route of get a big tractor, get massive weights on it, big tires, and just do it that way. 69% compaction, nice. So we're going to get this little bit here smoothed out. There we go. So yeah, we're at 80% compaction. It's nice. And re it's relatively flattish, I'd say. And in terms of getting it out, I think a couple of options. Conveyor belt. We do have the one at the mine shaft, which we actually will, will go and visit today. Yeah, we've got 17 minutes before the boat sets sail. So yeah, I think we've got a bit of time to kill. And there we go, that is 100% compaction. And we'll cover you. And just like that. And that is done. Didn't take us too long to do. Yeah, we're not doing massive quantities of silage, but again, a little bit of extra income. Always helps out. I never complain. But yeah, I think also what you need to try to do today is yeah, I think the two main tasks is do that. We we'll get some more iron ore for the mine shaft and go around, get all these little twiggly bits here. A bit of grass here I forgot, I forgot to pick up. But yeah, we'll get it done. And what rules are we using for the stump grinder? Ah, that was it, the tree mulcher, so... Turn the lights off on that. Actually... Where is... You're there. Ah, that reminds me... Yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> yeah, that was one thing I did forget. Is we did release a second tree officer, I completely forgot about that. Pretty grand, and I thought try out some new equipment, the Rotna. Seems okay, slightly bigger header width than like what you can do. I may test that out down here. Just because like some of these trees are like on the slopes, the Komatsu was having issues getting to. I don't think the Rotna can do the big spruce trees. Yeah, again, another thing can possibly try. But yeah, so we need to get this back down. Yeah, because... Oh, yeah. Oh, so many things I was thinking about doing off camera and... Yeah, comp... Obviously, yeah, Tenkin ain't supposed to be using these train tracks. 
are these tracks used? I don't know. These aren't part of the main tracks. Yeah, I think it should go the prop way, which is around. Perhaps we could put a bridge in. You know, say put a bridge in from this side of the pond. From in the cove, it's a little bridge that goes from here. Just to here, because to get to the other side, we'll have to go around here. Again, it's been lazy, I know. Yeah, I need to stop doing this, just thinking about doing bits in between the episodes. Think, oh, yeah, do this, do this, do this. I have a show on the camera. Weep. Nah. Didn't work. But yeah, just full, sort of cut a couple of trees out. Again, not sort them out, but. Oh, you're a chonky boy, aren't you? Come on, get over. There we go. Just cut down to like mostly 12 meter logs. Just have a couple of trees down about ready. It is we do own this area, so we can take it even about. If only still to keep access to the sawmill open, just so that you know people can still access it. The locals can, the people that actually work there can actually get to work without having any issues. But yeah, to the reason why obviously we got this, because, yep, I want to go up to get the iron ore down. So we'll get the case tractor, as well as the trader. But also, it's time to actually return the equipment that we've typically borrowed. Uh, the dump trucky thing. Uh, I think it's... Uh, yeah. Do a little cheeky reset view. Uh, somehow we end up on the left side of a pylon. No idea why. But yep, yeah, so I want to get those to that and the little wheel loader. Yeah, get back up there. Because we did take it bring it here, borrowed it, and just forgot to return it. But it is what it is. Oh yeah, also yeah, the slide additive. I think in future we'll go and just get the barrels, cause for like 60 of these worth costed about three grand almost. May not see it in the time lapse, cause yeah, I was just going through. But we can get 4,400 pounds worth slightly additive and one and a half liters. Well, one and a half thousand liters. That's a lot of additive. And that will pretty much last us the rest of the series, I think. Because, yes, again, we're not doing much work. Yeah, honestly, yeah, we're not doing much work with grass, silage, and all that in this series. Just bits of here and there, but. So, yeah, I want to get. Get you on there. So that's you technically on. It's a chassis right on the frame. And it's even hitting the dry shaft, or at least the, the, yeah, the rear diff. Or is it the yeah, rear differential where it splits the power to the two wheels? Yeah. I know mention stuff, I think. But yeah, we'll get this returned. There's the red van. I don't know what it's been in this series. It's like the red car and the red van. Just seems to be a bunch of nemesis. Ouch. Who put a pile on there? Was it me? So yeah, we'll get you down. Switch you off. Hopefully we've got enough room. I think the honest answer is probably not. Yeah, just looking at the room we got there. But yeah, we still need to return this, so... I can't hire workers to take these up to the mine shaft. 
And in free code we do have yeah, we have had issues with So yeah, we'll get you back a bit more. I should get you off of the hat. That's better. Ah, that's a bit more proper. Yeah, it's in out a little bit. That's not an issue, so yeah. I think the best thing to do is, yeah. Get the worker to take... Get it all struck down nicely. So yeah, we'll get the worker to take this up to the mine shuttle at least, as far as it goes. And then we'll follow it up in sandboy. Because we do have a bit of a faster speed. Take this to the mine shaft, get it loaded up, get your back down here. Just in time for the boat to set sail, I think. And there we go, we're up here at the mine shaft. So yeah, had to sort the worker because it got to the point where it was getting a bit laggy, a bit glitchy. Also it's frankly because we just want to have tipped the trailer over. But actually managed to get on top of having to secretly use the Volvo Miller to get unstuck. Like I do every time I get my like, old trailer to be able to get. So I think that's how we established this just it's about 90-100,000 litres. Wow, that is chugging that. That's eating that pile, that is. Eating, 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 and it's gone. Wow, that super quick that was. See, I know it's going to take a bit of time to, for that to form up again. Wow! 107,000 litres. In literally like 30 seconds, a minute at most. I don't know. Or was it keeping track? Oh, I love that thing. So, literally, when, if you use a similar one like that, I think we'll get a second one, so one for the quarry, one for like, farm related reasons. Ooh, smash into that. Hopefully, it hasn't caused a collapse of the mine shaft. I don't think it has, but yeah. Things like that is just as you quick and belt. Get out of dodge. So, let's go down this road. So, yeah, so down this road, and then mine sign. Don't worry, nothing to see there. Yeah, I think we'll follow the dirt path down. 
So yeah, we've got seven minutes to get down, get it sorted, before the boat sets out. And yeah, thing yeah, it's been confirmed it is like an AI sort of self-driven. So it's program is a little short program has been course. It obviously I think like the local Coast Guards or that sort of choreographs it with the local fishermen, the local people who uses the river to run just to clear the area for about the hour or two or a half an hour to an hour, sorry, of the period of where the boat sets sail or prepare to sail from half one to half two. Yeah, I think yeah. An hour yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> when I said half an hour like, half an hour after it sell it the poor is like controlled. And the actual system it is like an AI sort of Google car ish Tesla self drive mode thing. It's not a massive distance from what I've been told it has to travel, but yeah, self driving boats. Never a thought I see the day. Yeah, now you get like sort of semi self flying airplanes with autopilot, but uh, cars, uh, yeah, that's a, <laughs> that's a disaster waiting to happen. That is boats, yeah, it's one of those things. But do modern boats even have a like, sort of like autopilot? Or yeah, I know like, a lot of boats nowadays. Oh, there's a log in the road. I wonder who caused that. Hey, you, sir. I'll help you out. Mostly. What idiot leaves a log in the middle of the road? Shh. What's in us? Man, selfish people just leave their timber in the road. Hey. Don't beep at me, you. I was helping you out, okay? So... Man, people are rude. You help them out, and that's how they return the favour. You know what, sir? Next time, I'll go to register your car. Go do it again. What if I see you again getting stuck? You can sod off. <sighs> so, yeah, got a bit slow track there. I do apologise, bit of road rage. Yeah, I can have a bit prone to it. But, yeah, since we've got a couple of minutes to go. I'll just pull over here. Because, yes, I just want to yeah, yeah, talk about the whole yard expansion. If we, yeah, if we expand this, have a yard here. And then try to figure out. Okay, I don't want to. Do I want a road going up here? Don't get me wrong, it'll be a, a nice road. Like, smooth it out of that, but. Something relatively flattish like here. Yeah, I think if you get like a little road in here. So yeah, just to cross the river because obviously don't keep on driving over this because one, it's very bumpy. Two, causing damage to the land, obviously, and three. It goes into the pond here. Yeah, it goes into the little, this little... Actually, is it going in? It just sort of fills this up. Yeah, I just want to damage the wildlife, you know, the water supplies for people. Because we use that water, we do that sometimes. So we use it for when we get greenhouses, so... Yeah, it's sort of like damage the land and that, sort of give it a bit of respect, so... Go in contact with a local... Well, national bridge supply, should I say, not local. Um, so called Any Gym, and he's got a little selection of bridge packs that we can use. So, all we have to do is look in the catalog, find out what bridge we want, and he's more than welcome to help us out with that. So, you know what? That is very much appreciative. Where's the train to? How are you doing? You're doing good. So yeah, it's got a lot of ore already, so... Ah, you're in the way. No worries. 
So we'll give this a little top up. And I think what we'll do is we'll keep a mil's worth supply here, so 60,000 litres. And then the rest of it, to be honest, might as well sell it. Because we do have, we're allowed to sell. Yes, I know it's technically a free product, products and all that. So yeah, if we put a mil's worth here, yeah, there's a free resource in that, but hey, we have to put the hard work in driving up. We've provided equipment to the mine shaft, so people want to use it, they're more than welcome to use it. So yeah. If we get about 60,000 years worth, so... We'll save ourselves about 45,000 years worth of iron ore. So we've got four minutes, so we need to quickly get this done. Come on. I'm sure there's like a shed or something we could have put this in, but... And there we go. Climb up, pile. There we go. So we got 105,000 here, so... So yeah, that is just over 60,000 years worth of iron ore we got there. And that's enough to keep that production going for some time. So we want iron ore, where are you tool? Best place to sell it, at the sell everything container. Thank you Schultz. Schultz wants some ore and we'll provide him some ore, he can shove it. I guess he sells it internationally or globally. Not too sure. Yeah, because, yeah, his container is like here. There's no like a little port. You know what? Not, not my problem, so. He wants it here. I'm well, guessing I should know. I would have thought, yeah. As you see, he's got empty pallets and that. So yeah, I guess he puts them into the crates of this grill here and then somehow fills it into these little buckets. Show a few of you. And then obviously shuts the containers and takes them to the container warehouse. Yeah, perhaps it makes more sense that does. So yeah, we'll make a bit of extra income from this. Think about, uh, what was it, 130, 40 grand we're going to get. Yeah, not a bit of a little extra income there. Of course, we're going to do it all the time, I know. Just, you know, on the odd occasion, first extra ore for us. 135 grand, so... We're now back at 1.9 mil, where we was off camera. And I think we're just here in time, because this is going to get set sail in two minutes. One minute. Any moment now, this will set sail. I can't see anyone in it, so... Launching zero 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 zero. I think it's happening at two o'clock. There we go, it's going. No one's in it. That is a nice noise. So yeah, it's going back, it's turning. Don't know exactly where it's going. Three hundred 
Thank you, Mama. Yes, you can't see anyone at the helm. So I'm guessing it's on its merry way. You know what? Let's build a second boat. Come on, people. Get back to work. Okay, we need floor tiles. We've got enough floor tiles for stage one. Planks, we've got enough planks. Wood beams, 4,000 years it needs. So it's got enough metal. It needs fabric, but that's, that is fine for now. So let's go up to the sawmill. Do we have any more wood beams? Let's go wood beams for now. I know, I know. I'll just rather get ahead. Nothing there. Okay, that's one pallet. And nothing else. Rats. How far we are from the beams? 305 litres. How quickly does this go? So about a hundred ish, just over a hundred years an hour. Got one prefab wall. Now we're going to call training out. We'll get a collection of these. Then we can always sell this. There we go. Ah, it's what it's needed. So yeah, tube of beams. Where is our pickup? Oh, this is nice. That's nice. We got. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah, I've got. Oh, load up. Literally, I'm just going to load up the wood beams. Take it on. Road cursor does not need any prefab walls. Is there any places that is in desperate need? Yep. Barrel factory needs on planks, so. You know what? Let's do that. Get it zoomed up. So, long planks will go to the barrel factory. And then the wood beams will go to the boat yard. And that's enough for stage one. Turns with our. So yeah, planks are distributed. That's good. We'll distribute the metal where needed. Ooh, got a bit of lime there. I forgot we had stones, so we'll get that cracking on. What about you? How are we doing for fabric? Let's check the fabric in a sec. So yeah, quickly before the end of the episode, get us all loaded up and then. I think that's where we'll call it a day, I think. We want some soggy pallets because that's what we've done here. Yeah, got a bit carried away, went a bit too fast and had to bell. Good thing we got this real loader here because I don't think the tight hammer, even with the two and a half ton weight, we'll be able to do this. Just because of the angle and all that as well. Bash. So here we've got some soggy pallets, some soggy boards and that beams. But yeah, I'm sure they won't bind. Especially if we don't tell them about it. Oh, yep. There we go. But yeah, I bought the wheel loader now, one, because I was having annoying issues with the dang...
Alonso, we've got 2.2 mil now, so we can afford this before he still purchases. So yeah, we'll go ahead. Yeah, we'll just drive this down. Tear for the boat yard, we'll go and collect that in a moment. Actually you what, know, just go and take it down. Hopefully this doesn't pick the trailer up. Please don't. I just want my beams. Thank you, thank you, sir. Bad trailer. Bad trailer. Stay. Multi trailer. See, so yeah, we'll take this down. Get this into the boat yard. And then, yep. That's the boat yard done. That's why it's got everything it needs for now. Now it needs a bit of a couple more materials, you know, for the step two. Clean through 300 litres of fabric. But we will have that plenty and in time. trust you to build a boat. But now we can actually properly time this now because I've just been giving it bits of timber here and there. Oh, I thought it was an entrance there. You know just bits of timber here and there. I'm not really thinking about exactly where it all goes in that so like how long it takes and that so I'm going to the site entrance here. here. Two planks. Alright, we'll deal with those at a later date. See, so yeah, we want long planks. Ouch. That's a hundred grand spent. So yeah, I'm gonna get you to up a sec and then see you folks in a second. Once I get it set up onto a trailer of sort, that's where we'll leave it today. So there we go, we've got our RTV here. Got loaded up with 10,000 litres of planks, 2,000 litres of, oh, sorry, 10,000 litres of long planks, 2,000 litres worth of just normal planks. So yeah, we know the boat yard doesn't need these for the time being. So what's in most critical need of the long planks? Another tree transport contract, we'll do you off camera. So you don't need, you're not in desperate need. So, four tiles, shingles factory, furniture store. Yeah, I think I'll send these planks initially to a bit of mixer of the furniture store as well as the battle factory. And then obviously once we send that over then obviously it works out of what production needs it the most. Ooh, that is a bit of, that is a snap of over here. I think first of all, I think what I may do is just go to the road coaster, see if it needs anything, get a bit of paid, I know, and also it's just a little cheeky top up, you know. Oh, look at that, we've almost completed three, I think this is. Oh, ouch, didn't mean to do that. So yeah, that's half of our planks. And yeah. That's pretty much almost gone. It's quite, yeah, so 40, if we sold it all there, that would have been 40 grand. So that is a loss of 60%. 
But at least we know it's got enough long planks for the time being. Yeah, I'm guessing I'm just looking at a positive here. Yeah, you know what? We'll just set the rest there. So I think... Yeah, for now, that is where we're going to leave it today. I may just buy... Yeah, we've got the money, so I'm thinking... Yeah, we'll get a bunch of long planks. And worst case scenario, to get this money back, just sell a... 12 meter loads container of... 12 meter logs. That is. That's 400 grand we spent now on long planks. And, yeah, so about 1.8 mil. Yes, you could argue about, uh, you know, about the old... Oh, we... Uh, what was it? Can't, yeah, can't even remember. Oh yeah, the Iron Ore, that was it. Yeah. But you know what? It is what it is, at the end of the day. Oh, so has cheating. There was a demand for it at South African Container by Schultz Modern. Schultz wanted some or iron ore and we just provided them with that. Also we've got money still coming in, we've got like prefabricated walls to spend and that, so not to spend, not to sell. Also we've got the side edge, that's gonna be doing good. So yeah, that's where I'm gonna leave it today. And what I'm gonna do at the end of this episode is do a little time lapse of showing this being built overnight. Also, see if there's any changes to the road coaster. Because, yep, yeah, so... Actually, a lot... That's been, that's been done during the day, surely, because this wasn't done. Was it done during the day? Well, that's coming along really nicely. But yeah, we'll just show the time lapse of getting this boat done, road coaster, have a look at it overnight. So yeah, that's where I'm gonna leave it today folks. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button, feel free to comment down below, follow the share and please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But for you to do, hope and I'll see you all very soon.